These are the measurements for the dog that we are using in our example. This is Ziggy, he's a Border Collie mix. A tells us how tall he is from the ground to the top of his shoulder. B tells us how long he is from the center of his shoulder to the beginning of his back leg. C tells us how wide or long his back leg is. So from the beginning of his leg to the back of his leg. D tells us how tall he is in the groin. So that's from the ground straight up in between the dog's legs until you feel skin. E is the measurement across the dog. E1 is at the shoulders. E2 is at the ribs. E3 is at the hips. It's going straight across the dog. Most dogs with disc disease or degenerative disease have the narrowest measurement at the hips because they've lost use there and they've had atrophy. Next, we start figuring out the measurements we need for our cart. To figure out the cart width, we take the largest E measurement and we add one half inch. So our largest E measurement was seven. We're gonna add one half inch onto there because we don't want a lot of room, but we want a little bit of room on each side, about a quarter inch of the dog so that they're not smashed into their cart. To figure out cart length, we're taking the B measurement, which was the distance from the middle of the front shoulder to the beginning of the back leg plus the C measurement, which is the back leg. And then we're adding two and a half inches for an average size dog. So for us in this example, that's 15 and a half plus five and a half plus two and a half gives us that our cart length is going to be 23 and a half inches. To figure out the cart height, we take A, which was the height from the dog, from the ground to the shoulders. We subtract D, which was the groin height, the height from the ground to between the dog's legs. We find out that difference, which happens to be five. Then we're gonna divide that by two. And then we add that back on to D, which was 15 and a half. So the height, two goes into five, two and a half times. So two and a half plus the groin height equals 18 inches. So this cart is going to be 18 inches tall. To figure out the seat height, we simply use the D measurement the height from the ground up to the center between the dog's legs. To determine how wide to make the leg straps for the saddle, we take the width of the thigh, which was C, and it was 5.5 inches, and we add approximately two inches of room for the leg to move back and forth inside of and not constrict um, any blood flow or cause any discomfort there. So our leg width here is going to be seven and a half inches. When you start placing your straps in to make your saddle, I always put my first screw in the back part of the T closest to the back of the cart that's holding the leg or the axle. This way I ensure that my center of the saddle is just in front of the axle line. This makes it so the cart won't pop up forward in the front or pop up high. And in special cases, we may need to move this so that 
the dog's weight is placed differently over the axle. And these would be dogs that are very weak or have advanced DM. And we want to actually encourage the cart to pull up in the front to take some weight off their front end and to counterbalance them. So from here, the next step would be to watch how to build your own doggy cart based on Ziggy, part one.